As I say every single Monday, welcome to another Crumble Cookies review. I'm so excited to reveal this week's lineup just because there is a new cookie this week. Before I reveal the cookies, make sure to like and subscribe because at 3,000 subscribers, I'm giving away three six pack cookies to three different subscribers. Also, if you follow my vlogmas that I've been posting every single day, um, I'm doing a giveaway every single Sunday. So yesterday for Sunday, the winner is username Jennifer Jackson 1586. I'm gonna put her username right here, so I will contact you later. And yeah, you won a $20 gift card. And it can be at any store you would like. For next Sunday, I'm doing a giveaway for a six pack of crumble cookies. I think that went really well um, a week ago, so let's go ahead and do that again. And again, congratulations, Jennifer Jackson. All right, let's go ahead and reveal the cookies. All right, let's check out the cookies for this week. Deliciousness. So this one here is birthday cake holiday. This one is snickerdoodle. This one is red velvet white. This one is frozen hot chocolate. And these two cookies are new. Well, it's the same cookie, but this one is eggnog. So this is a new cookie for this week. All right, let's go ahead and try out these cookies. All right, awesome. Now that you know what the cookies look like, let's go ahead and try it out. I think you're thinking what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and try the new cookie, eggnog. So this cookie right here is eggnog. And this is a new cookie for this week. It's served cold because it's cold. So yeah, this is the cookie right here. Let's go ahead and try it out. So this cookie right here, eggnog, is a festive sugar cookie topped with smooth eggnog buttercream frosting and a sprinkle of ground nutmeg. Cool, let's try it. Here's the cookie. Oh, it's such a mess, but here goes. That cookie is pretty good just because I love sugar cookies, but it tastes more like a cinnamon cookie, almost like a snickerdoodle. And the buttercream on top doesn't really taste that much like eggnog. It's very light, so it's not overpowering. But overall, it does taste just like a cinnamon cookie. All right, let's try the next cookie. This one is frozen hot chocolate. So it has some marshmallows on top, some chocolate um, cream, and then a chocolate cookie. So this cookie right here, frozen hot chocolate, a rich chocolate cookie smothered in hot cocoa flavored mousse and topped with fluffy mini marshmallows. I love hot chocolate and I love the marshmallows on top. So hopefully this is really delicious, especially that I don't really like chocolate, but this may change my mind. And it's served cold because it's supposed to be a frozen hot chocolate, not a hot, hot chocolate. So here's the cookie. It almost looks like a brownie inside because it's super filled with chocolate. And then I also have a little marshmallow on top. So let's go ahead and try this out. That cookie, you can taste a little bit of the hot chocolate, but I think the brownie is a little bit more overpowering than the hot cocoa mousse on top. But that's all you can taste. Obviously, the marshmallow doesn't really taste much just because the, the chocolate overpowers the whole cookie. But I love the chocolate on it because it's not like a dark chocolate, but it's also not like milk uh, chocolate. So it's right in between. So that's pretty good. I like it. All right, let's try the next cookie. This one is birthday cake holiday. Check it out. This is my type of cookie. I love cookies like this. I love birthday cake anything. And this one served warm. So this cookie right here is a deliciously smooth cake batter cookie topped with vanilla cream cheese frosting and a dash of red and green sprinkles. I love it. It smells delicious. Here is the cookie. I already know I'm going to love this 100%. So I'm already giving it a 10 out of 10. Mmm. You know what? I lied. That cookie is not 10 out of 10. It's 100 out of 10. That cookie is 100% cake batter flavored. I think that has the most overpowering taste in the cookie, which I love a lot. And the vanilla cream cheese frosting on top, it tastes just like cake batter as well. So it's just a cake batter cookie with just cake batter frosting, even though it's vanilla, but it has more taste of cake batter. And I think that cookie wins me over just because it's also a warm cookie and I love warm cookies. And again, birthday cake is my favorite type of cookie and flavor. All right, let's go ahead and try the next cookie, which is red velvet white. Very basic, you can just see that it's red velvet with white chocolate chips. So this cookie right here, red velvet white, your favorite cake elevated a dark red velvet cookie loaded with gooey white chips. See, I told you. And this cookie right here is also served warm because I can feel it and I can't wait. All right, let's give this a shot. 
So that cookie tasted more like a chocolate chip cookie, but with white chips instead of chocolate chips. The red velvet flavor wasn't really there. So like I said, it's just like a regular milk chocolate cookie with white chips. Nothing too fancy and the flavors really didn't hit me that well. So that cookie is just basic. I'd rather have a milk chocolate chip cookie instead. All right, let's go ahead and try the last cookie, which is Snickerdoodle. Here it is. It's, I don't even know how else to describe this. It's, it's just a Snickerdoodle cookie, but check it out. It looks delicious though. This one is served warm as well. So I, I'm gonna like this cookie too. So this cookie right here, Snickerdoodle, is a soft yet crispy, a sweet vanilla sugar cookie coated in a sparkly cinnamon sugar crust. Cool, all right. Or just Snickerdoodle. Oh wow, this cookie is thick. I already know I'm gonna love this cookie and it's served warm. I do love snickerdoodle cookies as well. So I already know this is 10 out of 10 as well. This is probably gonna compete with the birthday cake holiday. All right, here goes the competition. Oh my God, that was really delicious. So have you ever had snickerdoodle cookies? That's exactly the taste of it. The only difference is that it's a little bit thicker and the inside is so warm and it's so soft. It's very doughy. One of my favorite feelings ever. I love the feel of warm, soft cookies that are very um, soft in the inside. That's my favorite. Okay, so between Snickerdoodle and Birthday Cake Holiday, Birthday Cake Holiday is my number one pick out of this whole lineup. Second will be Snickerdoodle, and then after that is going to be the new one, Eggnog. And then it's Frozen Hot Chocolate, and then the Red Velvet White. All right, so there you have it. A very quick and simple review. The flavors were delicious, they were very warm, and I can't wait to share the rest with some friends and eat some of them tomorrow morning with some coffee. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because remember, at 3,000 subscribers, I'm giving away three six-pack cookies to three different subscribers. And if you're watching my Vlogmas, next Sunday, I'm going to give one six-pack cookies to one subscriber, so make sure to keep up. And if you don't watch my Vlogmas, then I do want to say, I hope you guys have a really great holiday and have a safe Christmas and enjoy it with friends and family because that's highly important. Again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.